What if I told you that the secret to making anyone irresistibly attracted to you isn't about looks, money, or even charm? It's about understanding one powerful truth. Attraction starts in the mind. Most people make the mistake of thinking attraction is purely physical. But there's one thing no one will ever tell you. True, lasting attraction is psychological. And here's the kicker. Once you master these seven psychological seduction principles, you'll be able to spark a magnetic pull that keeps people craving your presence. In this video, we're diving deep into the ultimate blueprint for psychological seduction. These are secrets that have been used by the most charismatic, successful people throughout history. By the end, you'll have the tools to create a connection so powerful, people won't be able to get you out of their heads. But be warned, this isn't just for anyone. This is for those who are ready to master the art of irresistible attraction. Stick with me to the end, and you'll unlock the seven keys that can transform your love life, social life, and everything in between. Number 1. The Power of Uncertainty Humans are naturally drawn to mystery and uncertainty. When someone is unpredictable, they become fascinating, leaving us wanting more. Think about it. When you know exactly what someone is going to do or say, they lose their intrigue. But if you add a little mystery, you instantly become more captivating. This is where most people go wrong. They overshare. They make themselves too available. The key to psychological seduction is to create a sense of uncertainty. Give just enough to keep them guessing, but hold back enough to leave them wanting more. Imagine this. You're texting someone you're interested in, and instead of replying right away, you give them time to think to wonder what you're up to. That space creates tension, an emotional roller coaster that leaves them hooked. And that's the first step to becoming irresistible. Think about it. Why do we binge watch shows with cliffhangers? It's the anticipation, the uncertainty that keeps us glued to the screen. Now apply that to attraction. Next time you're in a conversation, don't feel the need to share everything. Hold back just a little, let them wonder. Let them chase. Imagine the difference this subtle shift could make in your relationships. Number two, mirroring. The secret of instant connection. This is a classic psychological trick that works every time. Mirroring. People are naturally attracted to those who are similar to them, whether in body language, tone of voice, or even mindset. When you mirror someone's movements, gestures, and even their speaking style, you create an unconscious bond. They'll start to feel like you get them, and the connection deepens rapidly. It's not about copying them, but subtly aligning your actions and energy to theirs. Think about the last time you had a deep, meaningful conversation with someone. Chances are you were nodding when they nodded, smiling when they smiled, even leaning in when they did. This creates a powerful sense of harmony. Now imagine using that intentionally in your next interaction you'll find people are drawn to you without even realizing why. This is the psychology behind instant rapport. Start using this today. The next time you're talking to someone, pay attention to their body language. Slowly start mirroring their actions and watch how quickly they start feeling closer to you. This isn't manipulation. It's creating a genuine connection. Can you see how this could change your social interactions? Number three. Scarcity. Less is always more. Here's a fact. People value what they can't have or what's in limited supply. It's basic human psychology. We always want what feels exclusive or out of reach. By making yourself less available or creating a sense of scarcity, you immediately raise your perceived value. It's not about playing hard to get. It's about genuinely living your life in a way that shows you're not always accessible. When people feel they can't have you anytime they want, they'll crave your attention even more. Think of luxury brands. Why do they charge such high prices? It's not just about the product, it's the feeling of exclusivity. People want what not everyone can have. Now, apply that to your personal life. Are you giving too much of yourself too soon? What if you became more selective with your time and attention? You'd instantly become more desirable. Starting today, be more mindful of how you spend your time and energy. Don't always be available at a moment's notice. 
Imagine how people will start to view you differently, more valuable, more desirable. Number four, the art of listening. This might sound simple, but few people truly understand the power of listening. Most conversations are battles of who can speak next. But if you become someone who listens intently, who truly hears what the other person is saying, you'll create a magnetic pull like nothing else. When people feel heard and understood, they form an emotional bond with you. You become more than just another person. They start to see you as someone who genuinely values them. And that's seductive on a whole new level. Imagine being in a conversation where someone is hanging on your every word, asking thoughtful questions, making you feel like the most important person in the room. That's how you want others to feel when they talk to you. It's not about saying the right things. It's about listening in a way that makes them feel seen and appreciated. In your next conversation, practice active listening. Don't just hear the words. Really listen to the emotions and intentions behind them. Watch how people start opening up to you, feeling closer than ever before. This one simple shift can transform your relationships. Number five, confidence, not arrogance. Confidence is magnetic, but there's a fine line between confidence and arrogance, and many people cross it without realizing it. True confidence comes from knowing your worth without needing to prove it to others. It's quiet, yet powerful. When you exude this type of self-assurance, people are naturally drawn to you because you give off the vibe that you know exactly who you are and you don't need validation from anyone else. Picture someone walking into a room with quiet confidence. They're not loud, they're not bragging, but everyone notices them. That's the energy you want to embody. It's not about being the center of attention. It's about being so comfortable in your skin that people can't help but be attracted to you. Now imagine that kind of power in your own life. Work on building quiet confidence. Stop seeking external validation and instead start recognizing your own value. How would your interactions change if you walked into every room knowing you're enough, just as you are? Number six, the push-pull technique. This technique is a psychological game of balance. It's about giving someone attention, making them feel special, and then pulling back just slightly. This back and forth creates emotional tension, making them want more. When you give too much attention, people take it for granted. But if you're always pulling away, they'll lose interest. The magic is in mastering the balance between the two, enough push to engage, and enough pull to keep them chasing. Think about it. When someone is always available, always complimenting you, it feels good at first, but over time, it becomes predictable. Now, imagine they give you a compliment and then suddenly shift the conversation, leaving you wondering what they're really thinking. That's the push-pull dynamic that keeps people hooked, craving more. Number seven, emotional vulnerability. Attraction isn't just about fun and games. It's also about connecting on a deeper emotional level. When you show vulnerability, when you're willing to open up and share your true feelings, you create a bond that goes beyond surface level attraction. People are drawn to authenticity and nothing is more authentic than showing your real, imperfect self. But here's the trick. You have to balance vulnerability with strength. It's not about oversharing or being overly emotional. It's about letting someone see the real you, flaws and all, while still holding your ground. Think about the last time someone opened up to you about something personal. It made you feel closer to them, didn't it? That's because vulnerability creates trust. When you let someone in, you allow them to see the parts of you that are real, and that's what makes a lasting connection. Imagine using this in your relationships, being open yet confident enough to stand strong in your vulnerability. So there you have it, the seven keys to mastering psychological seduction. These principles are more than just tricks. They're tools that, when used correctly, can transform how people see you. But this is just the beginning. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss out on the secrets that could change everything. Remember, attraction isn't about being someone you're not. It's about mastering who you are and using psychology to make others see it too. Keep watching, and I'll see you in the next one.